Now see that is a new concept that is moment of inertia. We have done inertia, inertia of a body in Newton's laws of motion, where inertia of a body depends on its mass. That was in a kinematics or the translational motion. Now here we are going to discuss rotational motion that is a rotational inertia and that is also known as moment of inertia. So, what is the inertia in case of rotational motion? Suppose you have taken a body, a rigid body like this and it is revolve rotating about z axis. In this case, suppose this body is made of a large number of particles here like this, this is m 1, m 2 and m 3. So, there are large number of particles like uh, m 1, m 2 and m n. So, these particles are located at distance r 1, r 2 and this is r 3. So, every particle ha is at distance r 1, r 2 and r 3 which are the perpendicular distances from the axis of rotation. So, r 1, r 2 and r n are perpendicular distances of the particles from the axis of rotation. Then we can write kinetic energy of the this body. So, that can be written kinetic energy is equal to half m 1 v 1 square plus half m 2 v 2 square plus plus half m n v n square. We know v is equal to r omega. So, every particle has linear velocity and moving in here like this circular path and their linear velocities are given by v is equal to r omega. So, for the every particle you can replace. So, you will be getting here kinetic energy is equal to half m 1 r 1 square omega square plus half m 2 r 2 square omega square plus here up to the n particles we can write plus half m n r n square omega square. Now, see here in this case omega is constant. So, we can replace all these things by here like a kinetic energy is equal to we can take common half omega square and here we can write i is equal to 1 to n m i r i square where i is equal to 1 to n. This quantity here is represented by here i. So, this is half omega square i and this i is known as moment of inertia moment of inertia. Now, see we have done already the formula for the kinetic energy in the linear motion that is a translational motion that is kinetic energy is equal to half m v square. In that case here v is the velocity m is the mass which is playing the role of inertia. Here kinetic energy in rotational motion is half i omega square, this is the angular velocity which remains constant and this is the i that is called moment of inertia. So, both formulas are as you can see here moment of inertia is analog of the inertia in case of the translational motion. Now, we can write we already we have this written i is equal to i is equal to 1 to n m i r i square. So, we can define what is moment of inertia. So, moment of inertia of a rotating bod body about an axis is defined as the sum of the product of the masses of the each particle of the bo body and square of the perpendicular distances of the particle from the axis of rotation and its unit will be here kg meter square and see here the moment of inertia of a body depends on the distribution of the mass about the axis of rotation, shape and size of the body and also the mass of the body orientation of the axis of the rotation. So, these are the factors on which moment of inertia of a body depends.